طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أصحاب السعادة مدراء وممثلي وكالات أنباء يسرنا أن نرحب بكم في ورشة تعريف بالكونغرس العالمي للإعلام التي ينظمها اتحاد وكالات أنباء دول منظمة التعاون الإسلامي بالتعاون مع وكالة أنباء الإمارات وشركة أبوظبي الوطنية للمعارض للتعريف بهذا الحدث العالمي البارز والتباحث حول فرص الاستفادة منه على الصعيد المهني والإعلامي واسمحوا لنا البدء الآن بكلمة اتحاد يونا يلقيها سعادة المدير العام المكلف الأستاذ محمد بن عبد رب واليامي فليتفضل مشكورا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده وبعد سعادة المدير العام لوكالة أنباء الإمارات الأستاذ محمد بن جلال الريسي سعادة الأستاذ علي بن يوسف السعد نائب مدير عام وكالة أنباء الإمارات سعادة السيد ناتان واغ مدير إدارة المعارض كابيتال للفعاليات أصحاب السعادة مدراء ومثلي وكالات الأنباء الأعضاء أخواني وأخواتي الحضور السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يسرنا أن أرحب بكم في مستهل ورشة التعريف بالكونغرس العالمي الإعلام التي نظمها اتحاد وكالات أنباء دول منظمة التعاون الإسلامي بالتعاون مع وكالة الأنباء الإماراتية وشركة أبو ظبي الوطنية للمعارض التي تنعقد في إطار حرص اتحاد وكالة أنباء دول منظمة التعاون الإسلامي على مواكبة الأحداث الكبرى في الدول الأعضاء وإلاءها ما تستحق من اهتمام إعلامي ولا شك أن الكونغرس العالمي هو نموذج لهذه الأحداث التي تتطلب منا جميعا العمل بصورة منسقة لإبرازها في منصاتها الإخبارية وتعزيز الاستفادة منها وصقل إمكانياتنا بما تتيحه من خبرات وتجارب أصحاب السعادة الحضور لا يخفى عليكم ما يمر به المشهد الاعلامي من تطورات متسارعه سواء على صعيد الانتاج او على صعيد استهلاك المحتوى الاعلامي والمعلوماتي. وكالات الانباء في دول منظمه التعاون الاسلامي مطالبه اكثر من غيرها بمواكبه هذه التطورات من اجل تحديث ادواتها والحفاظ على دورها كمصدر اخباري موضوع. وياتي الكونغرس العالمي الاعلامي الذي يعقد في دوله الامارات العربيه المتحده بتنظيم من وكاله انباء الامارات وشركه ابو ظبي الوطنيه معارض بيمثل فرصه غير مسبوقه للتعرف على افضل التجارب العالميه في مجال الاعلام والاتصال واستكشاف احدث الابتكارات سواء على صعيد اعداد المحتوى او على صعيد وسائل العرض والتقديم وبناء المنصات الاعلاميه وفي هذا الصدد نعمل ان تمثل هذه الورشه وسيله لربط وكالات الانباء الاعضاء بهذا الحدث العالمي وتوثيق علاقاتها بالقائمين على تنظيمه وإدارته للاستفادة منه والإسهام في أعماله وجلساته والمشاركة بالفعالية فيما يتيح من ورش عمل ومعارض بما يعود بالنفع على وكالات الأعضاء. ممكن تدخل عليهم ويعزز والإسهام في أعماله وجلساته والمشاركة عليه فيما يتيح من ورش عمل ومعارض بما يعود بالنفع على وكالات الاعضاء ويعزز وعيها باحدث الممارسات والاساليب في مجال العمل الاعلامي. كما نعمل ان تمثل هذه الورشه مقدمه للسلسله من الورش التنسيقيه بين وكالات الانباء للتعاطي مع الاحداث البارزه في الدول الاعضاء انطلاقا من الادوار المسنده للاتحاد للعمل كمنظمه تنسيقيه جامعه. وختاما نعمل ان تحقق ورشتنا هذه الاهداف المرجوه منها. وأن تشهد مداورات مثمرة ونافعة شاكرين لوكالة الأنباء الإمارات وشركة أبو ظبي الوطنية حرصهم على الإسهام في تنظيمها ومد جسور التواصل مع وكالات الأنباء الأعضاء والله الموفق والهادي إلى سواء السبيل. نشكر سعادة المدير العام المكلف لاتحاد يونا الأستاذ محمد بن عبد رب اليامي ننتقل الآن إلى كلمة وكالة أنباء الامارات يلقيها بالنيابه عن سعاده المدير العام للوكاله الاستاذ علي يوسف السعد نائب مدير عام وكاله الانباء الامارات بالانابه فليتفضل مشكورا.
الاستاذ علي السلام عليكم هل الصوت واضح؟ نعم الصوت واضح نعم اصحاب السعاده الاخوه والاخوات شركاء وكاله انباء الامارات ممثلو اتحاد وكالات دول منظمه التعاون الاسلامي الساده الحضور السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته بدايه يطيب لي ان انتهز هذه الفرصه لاعرب لكم كشركاء وامن استراتيجيين عن وافر شكري وتقديري نظير كل ما تحقق من انجازات خلال مسيره الوكاله منذ تاسيسها عام 1977 ان عملنا الاستراتيجي المشترك له افاق عديده ويتعاظم دوره يوما بعد يوم في ظل ما يشهد العالم من تغيرات متسارعه وتطورات هائله في مختلف مجالات الاتصال والاعلام لا سيما التطورات التقنيه في صناعه الاخبار ونقل الاحداث في هذا السياق يسرنا ان نقدم لكم نبذه تعريفيه مختصره عن الكونغرس العالمي للاعلام الذي سيعقد تحت رعايه كريمه من سمو الشيخ منصور بن زايد ال نهيان نائب رئيس مجلس الوزراء وزير ديوان الرئاسه خلال الفتره من 15 الى 17 نوفمبر القادم بتنظيم من مركز ابو ظبي للمعارض والمؤتمرات بالشراكه مع الوكاله Euh, au cela euh, du 15 au 17 novembre et cela en coopération avec-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le-le
The UAE will gather the most prominent entities working in the global media sector from east to west at the Global Media Congress, which will be hosted by Abu Dhabi in November 2022 under the slogan of Shaping the Future of the Media Industry. The Congress will host a media conference and exhibition with the aim of contributing to a new qualitative leap in the media sector in the region and the world, along with dozens of specialized training workshops to engage in media markets in each continent, exchanging experiences, information, and new ideas. The conference will bring together leaders from across the global media industry to exchange knowledge, innovative ideas, solutions, and insights provided by international media experts on multiple specialized topics. Digital communication, artificial intelligence, advanced technology, technological innovation, entertainment media, and gaming industry and its impact, investment in the media sector, content creation. The Global Media Congress is the only media event that provides access to the burgeoning media market in the GCC and MENA region. The Global Media Congress will contribute to enhancing the competitive potential of the UAE at the global level and unlocking the potential of young leaders who will spearhead the future of the media and journalism sector, as well as expanding horizons of cooperation with global partners and concluding strategic partnerships. The event, to be held at the Abu Dhabi National Exhibition Center, in November 2022, is organized by the Abu Dhabi National Exhibitions Company, ATNAC, in partnership with the Emirates News Agency, WAB. إذا تسمحوا لي الآن فتح الكاميرات من أجل أخذ صورة جماعية لهذا لهذه الورشة العمل. والآن ننتقل إلى مداخلة السيد ناتان واوغو مدير إدارة المعارض كابيتال للفعاليات الجهة المنظمة للكونغرس العالمي للإعلام للتعريف بالحدث وفعالياته والفرص المتاحة لوكالات الأنباء الأعضاء Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Yunus. Salam alaikum to uh, everybody. Uh, I'd first like to start by uh, giving my thanks to uh, His Excellency Mohammed Al Yami for facilitating this meeting today and uh, for bringing together the participants of the Union of LIC news agencies for to allow us to present uh, the Congress uh, to you all. Um, and thank you also to um, our partners at the Emirates News Agency, WAM, who we've worked very, very close with on development of the Global Media Congress to ensure that it meets and exceeds the needs of the global media ecosystem. Um, I will just try to share my screen now, if you bear with me.
hopefully you can all see my uh, see the presentation on my screen. Uh, so the uh, the Global Media Congress, as Mr. Ali has mentioned, is the first of its kind uh, here in the region, offering an opportunity and a platform for the global media ecosystem to come together at the natural meeting point here in the Middle East, a meeting point between East and West, and it provides a perfect platform for the current and future conversations of the direction of global media. The objective of the event is to bring together prime media, global media players and all of their market counterparts from around the world and provide a platform that offers an opportunity to create strategic partnerships between local, regional and international media organisations right, based right here in Abu Dhabi, offering a platform for the world from here in the Middle East. It will allow all participants to access global trends and become aware of new industry standards from around the world. The aim of the event also, from a local and regional perspective, is to highlight Abu Dhabi's wider mission to draw more and more business here to the Middle East with a base of Abu Dhabi as an opportunity to uh, expand and to explore the wider region. Here's to give you an idea of some of the key categories that will be participating at the event this year and for coming years. Broadcasting equipment and service, filmmaking, creation and production. There will be a big focus this year on, on content creation uh, from all levels, which is such a huge and expanding industry with more and more people being able to get into content creation entry level and share their content to a wide audience through multiple social media channels now. So that will be a big focus of the Congress. Production facilities, media training. Uh, as my, uh, my colleague, Mr. Ali mentioned, we will be focusing a lot on the Congress in, uh, in, in students and the youth from around the world and their impact on the media, both in their home countries and on the global media landscape. We'll be aiming for digital distributors, device manufacturers, the whole entertainment industry, radio production, podcast production, news gathering and streaming, data storage and management, and focus on social media and, uh, and influencers. Essentially, what we are looking to do here is provide access to the broadest range of media possible to make an attractive meeting point for the world media to come discuss new ideas, new initiatives, and formulate plans and strategies to take them forward into the future. Some of the key messages that we'll be looking to deliver with the launch of this Congress. So the UAE in Abu Dhabi, um, as I mentioned, is perfectly located geographically, technologically, and in terms of infrastructure to connect the East and West of the global media scene at a time when it's no more, never been more crucial for us to connect the message. The aim for the Congress is to provide the next leap forward for both the regions and the world media sector. So whilst the Global Media Congress will, of course, focus on the whole world, nevertheless, we still want to make a point of opening the world to the, the media activities that are happening right here in the Middle East, the progress that's been made and that will be made in the future, and really highlight the Middle East's role as a, as a key destination for global media for the upcoming years. And where we can add our expertise, as Mr. Ali mentioned, I work here for Adnet, so we, uh, we own the exhibition centre here in Abu Dhabi. Uh, as well as multiple other entities uh, in various different spaces. We're a large group entity and we have extensive experience in the media sector, which, which two things help us to, prov to provide the perfect partnership for the launch of such an event here. Our experience in the media, the global media sector through our various entities, and also the fact that we have a large world-class exhibition and conference venue right here to deliver the venue for such an important congress. We are delighted to say that we uh, are operating under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Presidential Affairs. And beyond that, we have wide government support for 
this event, which we're delighted to, uh, to, 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 to call upon for this first inaugural edition and hopefully future editions from there. Our strategic partner is the Emirates News Agency, WAM, and we are aligned with their goals of reaching out from the UAE here across the globe to bring thought leadership, knowledge and partnership from around the world to connect and come together here in Abu Dhabi for the benefit of the whole region and the global media ecosystem. With these important government partnerships, there will certainly be a large government presence at the event, and we do expect and anticipate a number of government ministers to participate within the conference and workshops as, as an integral part of the event. Knowledge transfer is a key element of what we are looking to do here for the Global Media Congress, first edition and future editions. And what that means, it gives us an opportunity to create a platform where we can give companies, and businesses, and governments the opportunity to build connections and transfer knowledge to accelerate their own media programs and plans. With this in mind, we intend to have an exceptional educational platform, which will be made up of conference, workshops, and seminars and training sessions which will be available for everybody to attend to upgrade their knowledge in various different sectors. A number of companies will benefit from participating in the Global Media Congress. Startups and SMEs in particular will find a home at the Global Media Congress at a platform for them to highlight their innovations to the global media landscape. There will be, as I've mentioned, the theme that's been running through this is global from the title of the event right the way through to our conference program and everything that we do is designed to be international. The conference will be translated into multiple languages. We encourage and want participation from as many countries as possible. So that will be everybody from prime global media players right the way through to startups and SMEs in, in various countries. And we will be supporting where we can and promoting those countries to participate in the event. There will be opportunities for companies that participate, not just here in the UAE, but of course we expect people to unlock opportunities from east and west, from around the whole region, around the whole globe, with the connections that they will meet and the business relationships that they will forge here at the Global Media Congress. It's going to be the first physical media event in the region post-pandemic, and since we've been discussing this event with the market and having numerous conversations with many stakeholders. The conversation, the theme that I've heard personally from many people is that this event is something that's been missing. It's a real need for this event to happen right here at this particular time when there's so many diverse media opinions and media interests from around the world. I've heard from so many key stakeholders, the importance of having this event and their interest in participating because it's something that hasn't happened before. And it's something that the global media ecosystem feels is very, very important and necessary to happen at this time and in this place. So we've got a lot of support and a lot of interest from around the world. And we will also be providing the opportunity for companies to have strategic uh, B2B meeting opportunities at the event. Very much focus is going to be on connecting people, connecting businesses and connecting minds, making sure that we facilitate every opportunity for people to come here to Abu Dhabi during the Global Media Congress and meet and do meaningful business while they're at the event. So we as event organisers are vital and paramount for us to make sure that we facilitate as many of those connections as possible. So why participate in the, in the Global Media Congress? Well, as I've mentioned before, there are key topics that we are going to be discussing and key benefits to any participant, whether they are participating as a sponsor, as a speaker, or more importantly, as an exhibitor within the trade exhibition element of the event where they can, companies are able to have a small stand space, small or large, according to their, uh, their, their preference or what they want to display. Uh, and throughout the three days of the event, they'll have an opportunity to meet and network and do business with many people at the event through their stand. Facilitating knowledge transfer, government support, strategic meeting opportunities, and driving investments and partnerships. One of the cornerstones of one of the themes of our 
conference is going to be investment in media at a time when there are so many different competing media channels media investment has never been a more important topic to discuss how to generate the revenues needed to succeed to thrive and grow and that that investment topic is going to be uh, a crucial topic throughout the three days of the, uh, of the conference making sure that we are connecting people with investments from around the world that can be made into their businesses to help them grow and thrive into the future When we're talking about participation at the uh, the event, I've listed already some of the key product categories that we are focusing on. This should just give a, a brief overview very quickly of the type of companies we are in discussions with and that we're looking to approach to participate. So production companies from around the world, we're speaking to a number of production companies in different corners of the world that are eager to come to show their skills and to meet people to do new new business equipment and hardware of course the media industry requires a, a constant uh, influx of innovative products whether they're cameras tv um, broadcasting equipment mixing equipment studio equipment auto cues and a whole range of different equipment that's required for the creation uh, editing and production and dissemination of content so all of those will be present at the event software platforms and systems of course it's uh, becoming ever more crucial to have high-end software to be able to run businesses and we will make sure that all of those elements are covered at the congress news archiving storage video on demand all of the software required to help produce and to um, to produce and disseminate the content that is being created of course uh, support service providers so we're here talking about uh, this is a category under which news agencies would of course uh, be represented PR agencies, stock footage and photo, libraries, translation services, all of these providers and supporters of the global media ecosystem will be welcome to participate, show their services and, uh, and, and, and equipment. Content on demand, so we are reaching out to a number of the big content on demand providers um, to work with them and engage with them on participating at the event, whether it's as a stand space, uh, a content provider, a sponsor, participating on our conference or a combination of all those different areas. Social media platforms, it's a critical channel now uh, uh, in the modern day and, and, and more so in the future for putting content out into the market. So we're working with a number of social media platforms to agree on and decide their participation in the event. Again, whether it's through an exhibit exhibition space, sponsorship, presenting as a keynote speaker, delivering a workshop or a combination of all these activities Activities. We're working with a number of social media platforms to do that. Uh, IT infrastructure, satellites, and of course our telecoms providers uh, locally here at us and do. And we would love the opportunity to work with many telecom providers from around the region as well. Um, from that perspective as well, we're looking at um, we've got the TDRA, the regulatory authority for telecoms that are participating. So that area will be well covered by uh, exhibitors and sponsors to let uh, our stakeholders know about the latest innovations in that sector. And of course, social media uh, influencers and content creators, whether they would be participating as uh, presenters of workshops or training sessions or within their own stand spaces to advertise their activities to a wider audience to gain support, investment, um, and to, to, to drive their own revenues through advertising and other partnerships. So one of the critical elements of the Global Media Congress, I've talked a little bit about the exhibition itself. One of the critical um, parts of the Congress will be a three day conference, uh, which will cover many, many critical aspects. The overarching theme will be shaping the future of the media industry. And this theme will run through each day of the conference. Within the conference, we'll have a number of keynote sessions, panel sessions, and critical topics devoted to investment, technology and people within the media sector. We've already invited a, a large number of high level speakers through the, through, across, the, across the whole three days of the conference. And you can visit our website for a regularly updated agenda of the, of the conference development. I won't, share it, I won't share it in detail now because we don't have as much time, but we will share the slides afterwards and we'll share the conference agenda, which is updated on a daily basis as we add more and more uh, 
a high level speaker and, and critical topics. So the key, the key themes that you can see which will be covered in the conference will be investment and opportunity in media. As I mentioned earlier, investment in, in new media is a, is, a, is, a, is a critical topic now and how media companies can find new revenue streams and new investing, new partnerships in order to be able to continue to generate more and more high quality content and put it into the market. Uh, innovation, the latest technologies in the media. Of course, no conversation about the shape and the future of the media industry would be able to be completed without a discussion around the latest technology. So we'll have a day which will be dedicated to that topic. Um, and finally, youth and the future of media. Very, very important for us to provide a, uh, an opportunity for the youth around the world to participate, to come to learn. And also to contribute. It's very important that we hear the voices of the next generation of, of media from around the world, their perspectives and points of view may be different from those that are established, but those are the ones for the next 10, 15 years which will be in the market. And we want to give an opportunity to make sure that their voices are heard and they're given a platform to both learn and participate in the global media. It will be a truly international congress. We uh, we aim to translate the congress into multiple multiple languages uh, to give everybody the opportunity, even if uh, English or Arabic is not their, their mother tongue, to present, and everybody will be able to engage and participate. Yeah. And we do expect yeah. upwards of two hundred um, CEOs and VIPs to attend as both speakers and delegates of the of the conference. Eric. The will be uh, alongside the conference and the trade exhibition. Mm -hmm. the, the live stage will give us an opportunity to launch products, uh, to have panel debates, AI sessions, and live pitches. So that will be a, uh, a dedicated for, for live presentations and work with some of our exhibits and sponsors to deliver live interactive content. The Media Hub will be where we communicate everything that's happening around the event, not just for the three days of the event, but everything that's been happening pre-event and post-event, an opportunity for media entities to come and learn about the event directly from, uh, from the Media Center uh, and to push that content out through their own channels as well. Uh, there'll be an opportunity, we'll be creating a dedicated networking feature where visitors and exhibitors can come together network and understand some of the latest trends and discuss opportunities, build partnerships and form solid business relationships at the event. The other key arm of the content of the event alongside the, uh, the conference, the three day conference will be the workshops. We expect to have in excess of 27 focused workshops. Where they differ from the conferences, they will be focused on very specific topics, uh, likely to be longer than the, uh, the conference sessions and more in detail. And it gives opportunities for a deep dive into key critical topics from across the, uh, across the global media landscape. We expect them to be smaller in nature, more focused, with around 40 attendees in each. And we'll have around 30 international workshop facilitators delivering these content programs. So we're speaking with companies like Thomson Reuters and various other global entities to deliver some high quality uh, workshops for all of our delegates and attendees. Uh, startups and innovation, as I mentioned earlier, is an incredibly important part of the, the global media landscape. So we will be addressing this in a dedicated innovation startup area. We'll be focusing on a number of startup companies with innovative products from around the world, inviting them to present what they have to our full global audience, and we'll give them an opportunity to pitch their products and services on a stage, to gain investment, gain partnerships, and really to accelerate their jump into the global media landscape. We want to provide this as a platform for everybody who's entering the media space to really they accelerate their business to have an opportunity to connect with the right people, the right individuals. And, you know, any industry uh, like, like media is fast moving and it really is built on innovation and startups. So we want to give a platform for these companies and these ideas to flourish and be presented in the, uh, in the right environment. Uh, an influencer zone will be part of the event, an opportunity for social media influencers, which is a hugely growing sector now across a number of different verticals, number of different industries, 
we will bring influencers together to discuss their own businesses, some of the challenges that they face in terms of creating partnership, generating revenue, gaining uh, subscribers and followers, and how they have overcome some of those challenges. And it will give an opportunity for us to gather most, some of the most prominent influencers in the Middle East to collaborate together and to present the event to their wider networks and also to illustrate how somebody may be able to accelerate their own business within the influencer space. And uh, last but not least, we have a, a section of the event called Media Labs. These are closed door meetings which will happen at the event by invitation only from C-level delegates. And what they will be doing within these sessions is they will be discussing some of the top issues faced by the global media in terms of adopting and use technology. From these sessions, we will create a white paper, which will be then disseminated after the event to all of our universe of stakeholders, of delegates, exhibitors, sponsors, attendees. Everyone that participated or supported the Global Media Congress will be sent a copy of this white paper, which will illustrate some of the topics that have been discussed at these media future media labs and discuss and highlight ways forward to how to utilize that information in their own countries for uh, best use and best practice so that's a really key feature of the event it's an opportunity to gain when we're gathering a lot of these senior people from around the world together over three days what we really wanted to do is create something that would give a lasting impression as well so something that we can create as a result of this conversation, which can be sent out after the event to really impact the future of the media sector around the world. I'll just set a brief word on our hosted buyer program. We will create a hosted buyer program as part of the event where we aim to pick around 70 to 80 of the top international buyers. So we're looking at you know, C level owners, founders, creative directors. People with purchasing power, it's very important for us that we make sure we identify the top purchasers. We're looking full field of, of, of the whole world. So obviously the GCC is our home base and our starting point, but we're by no means restricted there. We're looking at USA, India, Egypt, Spain, Mexico, uh, and then looking east, we're looking at Korea, Thailand, uh, China, uh, Lebanon, Europe, we're looking at the UK. So we will attract buyers from all of these countries and we will pick around 70 of the top buyers that have purchasing power in excess of 250,000 to make sure that they come to the event. We will host them, we will fly them here, we will look after them. We will ensure that they meet with all our companies, network with our key individuals, participate in the workshops and the conference. And really, our hope from this is that they, they will then uh, target some of their procurement to be delivered within our event with some of the key companies that they would meet. So to give you an idea of how we work with host buyers and what we do as part of the journey, you can see here on the screen an infographic of the host buyer journey. All the way through, we'll be holding their hands, bringing them, bringing to them to our event, making sure that they attend some meetings, helping them to fix meetings with key people, attending the conference. We will make sure, because we are investing in this program and making sure we bring the buyers in, the obligation on them is to participate in the meetings that we set for them, the meetings that they are interested in. We'll make sure that they participate in it and we will then ask them to give us their feedback and their reactions as to how they found that the, the meetings were. So this is a great opportunity for us to get some real purchasing power within the event to bring them to the Congress and to participate and to add value to our overall Global Media Congress. Um, just the last slide here, I'll just give you an idea to give you some visibility on the event. This is the floor plan as it is currently, but it is currently uh, changing because we need more space. So if you can see here, some of you may be familiar with the, uh, the Adnet venue here, but if not, I will let you know. We've got the on the right hand side where you see the, uh, the red seating area. That's where our keynote conference is going to be taking place. This where the logo is in the middle there, that's called the atrium, which is an open space. Originally, we had planned to leave this just as an open space. In fact, now what we're doing, because the growth of the event is so significant, we're actually moving exhibitors into this space. We're expanding into this space as well. So you can see here, um, I understand that uh, your agency is, uh, is based in Jeddah. So one of your uh, one of your key companies, Neom, is participating. We're delighted to welcome them as headline partner of, uh, of our event. We have, of course, um, our, our key stakeholders, 
Granton Centre and its news agency that will be presenting their activities in the, uh, in the global media space. Abu Dhabi Media, the IMI Group, you can see a number of different names on here. In terms of the international reach, we're also looking to have uh, a number of pavilions. So we have here um, Turkish Pavilion, a collection of Turkish companies expecting to be participating with us. We have a, uh, a South African Pavilion, which already we have 12 participants from South Africa. We're looking to have more. Um, a South American Pavilion, working with our friends over in, uh, um, in South America, Latin America, to promote the event, bring companies across over there. And we're getting more and more uh, interest from various countries every day. Only recently, myself and the team had the pleasure of meeting with the Rwandan ambassador to the UAE. They're very interested in participating in the events as well uh, and bringing along some of their local media companies to connect with the, with, with the world of media. So that gives you an idea as to some of the, um, the international presence that we will, uh, we will have at the event. And you can see there also... Um, Towards the end there, you can see where our startups and innovation center will be located, where our live stage is, and also our workshop, which will be part of the overall conference area as well. As a final slide, I'll just give you an idea of some of the companies that already we have, uh, have confirmed with us. I mentioned already uh, from Saudi Arabia that we have Neon as participants with us. And here's some of the other um, brands, just a selection of the brands that we already have participating and of course the team is actively engaged with multiple other brands in total we do expect to have more than 100 brands participating at the event uh, from various different sectors whether they are media entities themselves or they are product providers or service providers everybody that relates to or participates in the global media um, the global media ecosystem will be present and will be um, presenting themselves either on a stand space, which is the most common way for them to present themselves and their activities, or via sponsorship, or as a speaker. And the Congress that we are putting together and launching here in, in Abu Dhabi. Well, I think that's it for now. So um, thank you very much for your time. I hope that has given you an overview of what we are working on delivering here at, uh, uh, at ADNET here in Abu Dhabi in partnership with WAM. We're all very excited. Uh, we're getting huge amounts of positive feedback from the Congress to date, uh, which we're hoping will continue to increase. The momentum will increase as we move forward to, to, to November. Uh, we'd love to have the Union of OIC news agencies participating with us, and we'd love to discuss how we can get some of your news agencies together to participate and benefit from, uh, from such a conference. So um, we will share this information afterwards. Please do feel free to look at our website, globalmediacongress.ae, uh, and you can also follow us on multiple social media channels. We have a lot of content going there, and that will increase as we go through and progress towards the event. So please do follow us on all our social media channels as well. Um, I think that, that's it from me now. But if, um, I, I, so I will hand back to our, our hosts and um, say thank you very much for, for, for taking the time. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Nathan, for this uh, intervention. And thank you to the uh, UAE News Agency and the, all the other participants for this uh, excellent presentation and the opportunities given to the member agencies now. We will uh, open the floor.
نشكركم على ذلك نرجو من لديه اي استفسار رفع او ريز دهان من تحت اللي هو رفع اليد حتى يتم اعطائه المايك السيدة أمو بيري ممكن تسأل سؤال؟ أنا، أوكي، ميرسي، بونجور أتوس، جاي سوفي لي زيسبوزي، بون، مي جو فودي سابوار دابور سي أون بي أفوار تو لي تكست، إي جيميري كونيت لي كونديسيون دو باتسباسيون أو كونغري، باسكو نو نو أفوار رسي أون إنفيتاسيون أو تروا بيرسون، إي بي أوسي، جاي فيو كي أفي دي بافيون، جيميري سابوار les pavillons, comment on peut les avoir, comment ça peut se passer, on doit exposer des produits, à quoi ça sert Voici un peu ce que je voudrais savoir. Je ne sais pas si vous m'avez entendu. Allô, yeah. vous avez... Um, thank you very much uh, for, for, the, for the question. I, I, I will answer this as... as... Uh, in my position as, as a director of the of the event. So uh, from the booth space uh, perspective, we give an opportunity for any company that wants to either showcase their products and services or to showcase their activities uh, in the media space to participate. Um, the booth space is priced at $300 per square meter. So we do have companies that will take as smaller spaces as six square meters to present themselves, present their activities in the market. And what it does, it just gives an opportunity for um, companies, whether they are providing products or services or wanting to attract inbound investment or inbound partnerships. It gives them a platform within the event to promote their brand, their activities and their products. Um, so if you are interested in discussing uh, boot space with us, uh, we can of course um, we can of course discuss how we might be able to accommodate. We offer options of space only, which is you would build your own uh, own stand, or we offer purpose built uh, boot spaces as well, which you can use to present yourselves and create your own graphics to to present yourselves at the at the congress. And really, we find that it's no better way to present oneself at the event than by having gives you that access throughout the full three days of the Global Media Congress to really position your brand and yourselves to meet many different uh, opportunities, different people. To okay, merci, j'ai bien compris. Merci. Donc, donc après, je ne sais pas, tandis qu'après j'aurai son adresse, on va rentrer en contact pour euh, qu'on puisse finaliser cela. Absolutely, we can uh, we can certainly discuss that. I believe my okay. uh, my, my colleagues at um, at the Emirates News Agency will share the details. Um, of my team, myself and my team, we're happy to discuss any any individual arrangements um, whenever whenever you would like to uh, to do that. I'm not quite sure if I can put my details in here, but certainly we will ask to share the, the details with all participants. Mm. D'accord. Okay, merci. <laughs> Je ne sais pas s'il faut donner les coordonnées maintenant, tout de suite, ou bien. Après. D'accord, merci. Merci. Asseyed François. François, you can ask your question. Thank you.
Oui, bonjour. Allô, on me reçoit Oui, bonjour. Oui. Ok, alors euh, moi, c'est l'agence guinéenne de presse. Moi, je suis M. François Marat, le directeur général. Alors, euh, pour la participation au Congrès mondial des médias qui aura lieu au mois de novembre à Abu Dhabi, euh, numéro 20, quelles sont hum, les modalités de participation Est-ce que c'est les, particip... est les organisateurs qui vont nous envoyer et, et les billets d'avion et comment se fera la prise en charge ou bien sera combien de personnes Et quelles seront un peu les opportunités pour nous, les agences de presse euh, africaines, si nous participons à ce congrès Qu'est-ce que ça peut nous apporter Merci. Merci. Ali, le Sad Ali, mais nous avons le Lamba à la Syrie, à la من من وكالة من شركة أبو ظبي للمعارض I think Mr. Ali is waving. Uh, Mr. Ali is. المعذرة من وكالة الأنباء الإماراتية. لا يوجد صوت سيد علي هل الصوت واضح عفوا؟ نعم الآن الصوت واضح هل تسمعوني؟ ألو؟ نعم نعم الصوت واضح شو الصوت 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 بالنسبة بالنسبة لنا واضح ممكن تفضل. هل هل الصوت واضح؟ سيد علي تفضل. الصوت واضح. سيد علي تفضل. نعم الصوت واضح. هل الصوت واضح؟ هل الصوت واضح؟ نعم نعم واضح. صوت صوت واضح؟ نعم الصوت واضح. تفضل. Okay. It, it seems that uh, Mr. Ali is having some technical problems. Um, يشاركون من خلال طبعا التسجيل في حال ربتهم بوجود مساحه لكن بخصوص التكاليف طبعا كل مؤسسه سترغب بالمشاركه ستتحمل التكاليف يعني الخاصه بالمشاركه على حسب المساحات والاتفاق اللي يكون استاد <تصفيق> علي بالنسبة للشري... لجميع الوكالات حيسم بس يعني من باب التأكيد سيكون ال... سيكون طلبهم من خلال الرابط في كيفية المشاركة بحيث إنه يتم مشاركتهم في في هذا الجناح ويتم النقاش على ضوء ذلك من خلال الرابط هل ذلك صحيح؟ سيد علي هل تسمعني؟ so uh, 
yes, I, I will pick that up. You can register um, through the website as a visitor to the, the Global Media Congress. Um, we will shortly be going live with our delegate registration so that people can register to participate as uh, a visitor and as a delegate. Um, visitor means that they get access to the, uh, the trade exhibition. Uh, delegate means that they will get access to the conference and the content um, as well. So the visitor registration is live now and the delegate registration will be live imminently. Um, and once these are live, then any, anybody can choose to uh, participate as a visitor or delegate. If anybody wishes to participate uh, with a booth space uh, or as a sponsor or wants to discuss any deeper arrangement or partnership with us, then they can reach out directly to myself or my colleagues on the, uh, on the team here at Global Media Congress. Um, and we'll be happy to advise uh, participation options. OK, moi, je pense que nous, les pays euh, <coughs> africains, surtout du côté de l'Afrique de l'Ouest, c'est de voir au point, parce que vous avez les agences ici en Afrique, euh, euh, nous sommes très limités par nos moyens, c'est de voir comment les... Les, les, les organisateurs peuvent penser en termes de biais, si c'est peut-être comment ils peuvent faciliter le voyage un peu. Ce sera des voyages, nous, nous ne serons pas comme panélistes exposants, nous serons juste là pour des prises de contact, comment améliorer le partenariat et comment améliorer ici les échanges entre notre agence et d'autres dans le monde entier. Merci. Thank you for your um, your comments and your, your your feedback. Absolutely, we want to make sure that we uh, reach out to as many corners of the the globe for this event uh, as possible. Uh, that's why we've kept the participation costs uh, very very limited uh, and making sure that there is not uh, not too many barriers. To companies to to come and to to, to participate. So, um, of course, um, you know we recognise that everybody is is different, and there are some budgets that avoid participation. With that in mind, we are discussing opportunities to make the content available, um, possibly after the event, to make the content more widely available. Um, but where possible, we will try. Yes, and we are going to try to create the opportunities for the if you contact us directly to discuss anything around this in more detail, then you're most welcome to do so, and we will assist wherever we, wherever we can. Okay, after the after the reunion, or we send you already, you send you already your contacts, your coordinates. After that, we will contact you. Okay. Absolutely, we'll share the presentation and, um, and, and contact details for both our team here at the event and also the, uh, the relevant contacts from uh, our, our colleagues over at uh, WAM, and we can reach out and continue the discussion on any individual basis. Happy, happy to do so. Okay, Mr. Ali, but is there anything you can explain to the expectations التكاليف السفر وتكاليف الإقامة والمشاركة هل ستكون إذا ممكن توضح هذه النقطة وكذلك بالنسبة للدول النامية هل هل ممكن توضح أكثر بالنسبة لهذه النقطة الصوت غير واضح على فكرة أستاذ علي الصوت ما ما حد يسمعك أستاذ علي نعم الآن ممكن تفضل ألو ألو أيوة تفضل الصوت واضح الآن هل تسمعوني الآن؟ نعم تفضل خصوصا 
مصر مشاركة في مثل ما ذكرنا بأن بخصوص الدول النامية يتم هناك اختيار على بعض المؤسسات اللي ما تستطيع طبعا قلنا بنناقش هذه الأمور لاحقا لكن الأصل في المشاركة الآن لمن يرغب بالمشاركة أن يتواصل مع شركة أدنك إن شاء الله وأيضا إحنا مع شركائنا في منظمة اتحاد العالم الإسلامي يتم اختيار طبعا إحنا ما نستطيع ندعو جميع المؤسسات هذا معرض تجاري ومؤتمر مهم جدا ونحن نتمنى تواجد الجميع فيه لكن بالنسبة للمشاركات المدفوعة فإحنا طبعا سيتم اختيار بعض الدول النامية اللي لا تستطيع أن تحضر بأنفسها ومناقشة هذه الأمور وحضورها خلال الفترة القادمة بالتعاون مع زملائنا في الموطن لكن الأصل نحن نرغب بمشاركة الجميع من خلال الاستفادة من حجة المساحات والتواجد وأما مناقشة التذاكر وهذه الأمور كلها ستناقش في مرحلة لاحقة مداخلة أخيرة من السيد أرسلان آه وبعدها غالبا انا ما قادر اسمعكم لكن اعرف انكم قاعدين تسمعون نعم نعم سمعناك مداخله اخيره آه. من ارسلان مستر ارسلان كان يو هير اس ارسلان اي ام فروم تركي تركيش نيوز ايجنت See, none of the large answer. I have a couple of questions regarding your program. First is, uh, who are attending to the program from European news agencies and who are attending? And especially from Turkey, uh, the media outlet and company uh, and the speakers who are attending to this uh, workshops. And the second question, which... Uh, regarding the recent email you sent us today. Could you please clarify that email? Uh, you mean uh, we should attend with our representatives or just correspondence from our news agency or just journalists? What is the criteria and how many people are going to be attending? هل الصوت واضح عفوا؟ نعم الصوت واضح استاذ علي. نحن بس فقط لتوضيح الامور بشكل اكبر واوضح. هذا الاجتماع هو اجتماع للتعريف بالكونغرس العالمي للاعلام وتعريفكم كشركاء بالكونغرس وموعده والامور التي ستقام فيه وستنظم. اي مراسلات سابقه تمت بين الوكاله وبعض المؤسسات الاعلاميه سيتم التواصل فيها بشكل خاص واكمال هذه المراسلات. من ناحية الدعوات ومن ناحية ورش التدريب وغيرها من هذه الأمور أما بقية الشركاء الذين يرغبون بالتواصل فالأخوة في منظمة الاتحاد العالم الإسلامي أيضا سيقومون بتوزيع جميع أرقام التواصل للأخنيثين وشركة أدنب في حال رغبة الجميع من المشاركة أي مراسلات سابقة تمت بخصوص مشاركة بعض الدول النائية هذه المشاركة ستكون تفاصيلها مع وكالة أنباء الإمارات خلال الفترة القادمة بإذن الله أما من يرغب بالمشاركة ولم يتلقى أي دعوة أو شيء فهذه الأمور سيتم تنظيمها من خلال الأرقام اللي يتم توزيعها إن شاء الله بعد هذا اللقاء على الجميع لأخذ المزيد من التفاصيل مثل ما تعلمون هناك مئات من المؤسسات التي ترغب بالمشاركة والحضور فهذه الورشة هي ورشة لإعطاء معلومات أكثر عن الكونغرس أي مراسلات سيتم بعدين لاحقا ستتم بشكل فردي مع كل مؤسسة لمعرفة مدى رغبتها بالمشاركة بالكونغرس. أتمنى يكون التوضيح هذا كافي. شكرا لكم جميعا على الحضور وعلى الاستفسارات، وأي استفسار ممكن سيتم توزيع سيتم إرسالكم يعني ممكن تزويدنا بالاستفسارات ونحن نوصلها لوكالة الأنباء الإماراتية والكلمة الختام للأستاذ محمد اليامي مدير عام المكلف لاتحاد يونا. في الختام نشكر السيدات السادة مدراء ومثلي وكالات الأنباء على المشاركة الفعالية في أعمال ورشة والشكر موصول لجهتين منظمتين الكونغرس العالمي للإعلام ووكالة أنباء الإمارات وشركة أبراج الوطنية المعارض على جهودهم بإقامة هذه الورشة وإطلاع وكالات الأنباء لإعطاء على ما يتيح الكونغرس من فرص غير مسبوقة لتطوير العمل الإعلامي في مؤسساتنا الصحفية كما لا يفوتني ان اشكر زملاء الاتحاد وكالات انباء على جهودهم في التحضير لهذه الورشه المهمه 
ونفيد لكم بانه سيتم ارسال التقرير على ورشه التقرير لجميع وكالات الانباء المشاركه وغير المشاركه تتضمن اهم مخرجاتها ونتائجها وذلك تعميم فائده من هذه الورشه دمتم في رعايه الله والى لقاء رقيب قريب ان شاء الله السلام عليكم تحياتي للجميع شكرا لكم جميعا بذلك حننهي هذه الورشه العمل شكرا لكم Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.